everybody. Welcome to This Week in Falmouth. I am Michael. And I'm Susan. Welcome back, Michael. Thank you, you very much. It's back. nice to be back after a week off a school vacation. Mm -hmm. Kind of exciting, but yeah. it's glad to be back. And wow. And I brought the sunshine day. with me. Yeah, today. and we can so. keep that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a beautiful sunny day. All right. So what's there to do in sunny Falmouth so, this uh, week? In sunny Falmouth, mm. um, this is more a, a placeholder. The Falmouth Art Center is doing their... Um, photography exhibit. Okay. It's gonna, they're taking all their New England uh, digital entry juried photography entries digitally. Great. Send them online. Yes. And they're taking um, entries until March 12th. Okay. And so uh, and so that is ultimately going to be in the Herman Gallery at the Falmouth Arts Center. And uh, So we'll let folks know that that's open and send you right. photographs. Right. FalmouthArt.org right. for, for further information. That's great. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Boy, there's plenty of time. They'll have mm -hmm. a lot of entries. And they have not. I've been to a few of their juried exhibits. They're fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah. Well worth going to. Another great resource in uh -huh. town. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here in Little Falmouth. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, at the Falmouth Cinema Pub, which is on T-Ticket Highway, which mm -hmm. is in the mall uh, parking lot there, Huey's Ocean Science Cafe. Uh, on Wednesday, February 28th, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Okay. They are going to have Huey scientist Amy April there. April, I think that's how she pronounces it. And graduate student Laura Weber. And they're going to talk about an unprecedented exposition, expedition to study and protect Cuba's pristine coral reefs. Wow. Yeah. Now, is that an expedition that has happened already? I think or it's an it exhibition that has happened already. Okay, great. Yeah. And so that's free and open to the public. Doors are open at 6, and then there is food and drink available huh. for purchase. So if you want any more information about that, hui.edu. Yeah, well, that's interesting now. Yeah. You know, there's more people going to Cuba. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's more interest in Cuba. And, yeah. And, and the coral reef. It's the first time I've heard, actually, of the coral reef, uh, you know, being challenged there. Uh -huh. But, yeah, I guess yeah. it is all over, all over the, the warming world. ocean. Yeah, all yeah. over the world. So and these are the, the gardens of the very interesting. coral reef. Great. Wonderful. Sounds cool. That's cool. That is cool. Um, and then this is right up your alley. Mm. On Wednesday, February 28th at 7 p.m., West Falmouth Library uh, on West Falmouth Highway, yes. Highway will be in a local antique map viewing of an 1858 local map. Wow. That's so, so cool. Yeah. So uh, Bob Zaremba, who yes. is owner of Maps of Antiquity of Chatham, yes. uh, will be there uh, and present the original 1858 antique map of Barnstable, Dukes, and Nantucket. Oh, wow, that's so cool. And I love that one. Sometimes in those old maps, they have little, you know, squares where houses are, and they have people's names on it yeah, and everything. Yeah. It's really neat. It's really cool, yeah. I always look for Casparians. I've never seen them there. <laughs> you know, the first settlers. No Zavala's there. Uh, no Zavala's there either, no, huh? No. <laughs> anyway, if you get seven kids. But yeah, you're not, though. Not, you're not. not you're you're yeah, not. Yeah, That's not. right. I come True from Cape the Madeiras. So. That's <laughs> right. Ooh, what? Pardon me, I'm sorry, that's right. From the Madeiras is from there. From the Madeiras. No, but that would be really cool to see a map from 1858 and yeah. have somebody talk about it. Oh, yeah, it's someone who knows, yeah, knows wow. about it. Features seven Cape and Island and grave scenes. Great. A list of businesses and town boundaries. Wow, so, how cool yeah, is that? That is cool. Definitely want to make so that. So we'll know where to find you. Yes, you on, will. Uh, February 28th. Fun. Um, Thursday, March 1st, mm -hmm. over at the Cape Club um, in Valley Mead. Mm -hmm. Um, Egan's Irish Whiskey Dinner. They're having a pair, an Irish Whiskey Pairing Dinner. Nice. Um, three course, four course meal. Um, so you get four whiskeys? You get, yeah, you get four whiskeys, four different whiskeys. Um, or whiskey drinks. Wow. Yeah. Bring, bring you a designated driver and enjoy. <laughs> that should be a well, lot of fun. Oh, yeah, true, so, true. Yeah, so a lot of times it's tasty. Yeah. You know, yeah. Anyway, um, RSVP to... Um, there's a phone number here. Go on to our website, Falmouth Chamber, for Great. information. Like but that's fun. the Cape Club. That's yeah. Fun, huh? If you go on their website, you'll see information. Great. Too. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds fun, fun. Uh huh. Okay. And then the Falmouth Forum continues on Friday, March 2nd. I can't believe I'm saying March already. I know. Um, Seven thirty. Two days to go. Yeah. Seven thirty to eight thirty p.m. at the Lilly Auditorium in Woods Hole. Great. <laughs> the Marine Biologic Biological Laboratory is presenting the Falmouth Forum. Uh, this one is Emeritus Professor Lauren Graham, mm -hmm. who uh, is considered the leading authority on contemporary science and technology in Russia. Uh, will share some of his most interesting memories, his relationship with intelligence agencies, both American and Russian, and his observations on the changes in Russia he's witnessed over that last half a century. That's amazing. A lot it's of interest in that, that's yeah, for sure. So, huge. Wow. And that's free and open to the public. That's neat. Yeah, that's wow. really cool. Wow, he's seen 
Soviet and, uh, and, the, you know, and for half a century Russian Federation a lot of changes. changes. Yeah, so that's going to be changes. that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Great. And then Tuesday, March sixth at noon at the Falmouth Jewish Congregation on Hatchville Road. Yes. Uh, there's a free film program for Women's History Month and their brown bag lunch, and it's Heather Booth changing the world. And uh, she's a, a strategist in over 65 campaigns, ranging from voter registration in the 60s to immigration reform and the need for fiscal responsibility. And uh, so this is a movie that uh, blends interviews with close friends, clients, colleagues, some graphics, some animation, and some new technologies to explore her legacy. Nice. Um, bring your own brown bag lunch, no pork or shellfish, please, and drinks and desserts will be provided. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. And there's no cost to that? And there's no cost. Free of charge? Free of charge, oh, yeah. And, awesome. uh, and the doors open at noon, and I think the film starts at 12. There's well, a discussion afterwards. Great. Yeah, sounds interesting. And then finally, the um, uh, winter and spring speaker series of the 300 Committee Land Trust and Salt Pond Area's Bird Sanctuaries um, continues at the Falmouth Museums on the Green here off of Main Street um, on March 8th at 7 p.m. And this one is New Thinking About Cranberry Farming in Southeast Massachusetts Watersheds. That's great, because you know, you really hate to see that go away. Mm -hmm. You know, it's diminished so much and it's just such an important, vital part of our history. And uh, that's just great. Yeah, they so can rethink it and make it happen. Maybe so. I mean, yeah. one of my highlights is going to watch at the Bogs over near where we live in North Falmouth when mm -hmm. they're they're doing all that. It's just amazing. It's just so much fun. I used to live over the, over the Bogs in East Falmouth on Old Meeting House Road there every year. I mean, acres so, yeah. of it, right? Acres of it. Wow. Just, yeah, yeah. Did you, did you run down there as a little, yeah, little girl and steal? No, we birds? actually ran down there. Wow. And this is when Makepeace had the Bogs. And we actually ran down there with grocery bags when they were big grocery bags, not now they're little grocery bags. Yeah. And they would just fill the bag for us. Wow. My mother would put the cranberries in the freezer and we would have them. That's awesome, around. huh? Yeah, wow. yeah. So what southeastern that? Massachusetts produces 15% of the world's cranberries. I didn't know that. We still did. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the effects of cranberry farming on local waters is a concern. So this is a speaker. That's great. That's wonderful. About that. Very important. Important to our economy, our culture, mm -hmm. our history. Yeah, yeah community. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wonderful. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it does. I mean, it everything like, sounds like a lot yeah. of fun. It's a crazy week. It's going to be great. Because you had all the time to go to all these things. No. Yeah. Well, we'll hit one or two, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. So have a good week. Yeah, we'll see you next week.